This is a 150 ohm XLR dummy plug that I made for testing preamps, and I'm gonna show you how to make your own. The materials you're gonna need are one XLR male plug and some 150 ohm resistors. You also need a soldering iron and then something to hold the plug in place while you work on it. I'm using a pair of channel locks. And before we build, special shout out to Julian Krauss who created these plugs for testing preamps and where I got the idea to build my own. Go subscribe to Julian. Okay, now get one of your resistors and trim the leads here so that it fits inside the plug. And there's a lot of room in there, so you probably don't need to cut them as short as I did. And then I'm gonna bend the resistor into this U shape so that each of the leads can go into their respective hole in the plug. Having a pair of tweezers helps so you can hold on to the resistor while you're working on it. And then go ahead, grab your soldering iron, and we're gonna heat up pin two on our plug. It's important we use pin two and three. So I heat up the pole of pin two and then hold some solder on the other side until it begins to fill up the pin. And then go ahead and repeat the same process in pin three. And then once that has settled, you can grab your resistor and start to line it up, making sure that your leads will fit into pin two and three and then heat up the pole of pin two or three, doesn't matter which way you go. And then once the solder's melted again, you can go ahead and place the resistor in the pin. I'm doing one at a time here, so just hold on to that and let it set. Leave it for a few seconds, and then go ahead and do the same for the other pin. And in case you're curious, you can't put the resistor in backwards. The current will flow both directions through the resistor, so you don't have to worry about which side goes in which pin. And then check your work, grab the resistor, pull on it, make sure it's actually settled into the pin and that it's in the solder enough that it's going to stay there. And that's it, you have yourself a 150 ohm XLR dummy plug. And we're just gonna put this together. Go ahead and drop the resistor into the housing via the threaded side with the male rods pointing down. Turn it until it slides into the housing, and then I just use my tweezers to press on it to make sure it's well seated. And then go ahead and drop in the strain relief. Even though we don't have a cable, it'll hold everything nice in place, and then screw on the back. I went ahead and labeled mine. It's the only thing in my studio that looks like this, but what the heck. I didn't end up using this gaffer's tape, it didn't stick, but you get the point. 150 ohm, I easily know what this is when I grab it. 150 ohm resistor, done. You can check out my other video where I show you how to actually use this plug to test your preamps. And that's it, pretty easy to make, definitely fun. Check out Julian Krause's YouTube channel for a bunch of stuff like this, you'll have a blast. Let me know if you make one of these. Let me know if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Hey.